Hi and welcome to Spindle Tree Online, the video channel devoted to helping you improve your game through concise, easy to understand video lessons. Please like, share, and subscribe so that you will never miss out on our latest content. Let's begin. Hi, I'm Coach Reda. Today we're going to focus on how do you transition to the kitchen. Okay. Um, the one thing that we're going to focus on in this lesson would be a lot of people when they come into the kitchen, they rush to the kitchen area too quickly. They don't give themselves time to come in on the right shot. And the right shot meaning when you're hitting the ball and you're coming in forward, you need to evaluate how good of a shot you hit before you get to the kitchen. But if you hit a weak shot and you go all the way to the kitchen, you're not coming in on a good position. Therefore, most likely you're going to lose the point unless your opponent makes an error. And I will demonstrate. All right, so I'm gonna start on the baseline. And from the baseline, I'm going to hit a ball as a ground stroke. When I hit this ball, my job is to slow down as I come in, okay? Read my shot, how deep he was, is it effective? If it is effective, I'm gonna continue to move, but the moment my opponent will make contact point, I need to make sure I split, step, and stop. Okay, because I need to be prepared to engage the next shot. If I don't split, step, and stop, I'm not ready for the next ball, I'm going to make errors. Okay, so I will show you guys one forehand coming in forward. So I hit this ball deep, and I come in, then I stop, I split, then I hit another ball, and I split, then I hit another ball, and then I continue to move forward, and I'm judging the top of ball that my opponent is giving me. As I'm coming in forward, I might have to hit two, three shots to get to the kitchen area. I might have to hit one shot or two shots if I hit a good return deep. For an example, I will come all the way to the kitchen area if I hit a really good ball deep. So if I'm setting up from my position and I'm wide base, I'm low, the ball comes to me, I'm trying to hit it deep. Now that's a deep ball, I'm coming in all the way to the kitchen area, and then I start dinking. Okay? Um, the other thing that Coach Keisha, who's right here, um, would very, she helped me with a lot, is also making sure that you have a good base, a wide base, making sure that you low anytime you're moving in forward. Or you're always coming into the kitchen area. A lot of times we stand so high, okay? So we need to make sure that we're not standing up here when we get to the kitchen area, that we have a low base down here and our elbows are out and we're getting ready to move forward we're anticipating the next ball, but I'm in an athletic position. A lot of times we come to the kitchen area and we're standing up straight. And that's not really uh, effective because if you play good players and they dink the ball at your feet, you end up having problems. Thank you.